So EasySMX reached out to me again and asked me to review their gaming headset called uh, VIP002S RGB which can be used for PC, smartphone or tablet, Xbox and PS4. If you recently watched some of my previous videos you will remember that I already reviewed a gamepad from EasySMX and I was quite impressed with the build quality and also functionality that it offered for that price point. If you're interested to take a look at that video you can check it out here. But now I'm wondering if EasySMX was able to maintain that quality with this gaming headset considering that it retails for only $35. But before we start with this video I just want to make it clear that EasySMX sent me this gaming headset completely for free and they also told me that I can keep it after the review. But still that won't change the fact that I'm going to give you guys my completely honest opinion about this gaming headset. Hey guys what's up Dario here and before we start with the video please make sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified next time I upload a video. The EasySMX VIP002S gaming headset comes in a simple black box that doesn't really contain a lot of information about the product on the outside. Inside of the box you will get the following things. The headset of course, the manual and also a 3.5mm audio jack splitter. The packaging is definitely not something that will blow you away, but what surprised me was the fact that even though this can be considered as a budget headset, there were protective plastic caps on the USB cable connector and also the 3.5mm audio jack. Let's first start with the design and build quality of this headset. Even though the VIP W2S is an affordable gaming headset, they don't have that aggressive cheap gaming headset look that some of other gaming headsets have. They have a very subtle and clean design in my opinion. The simplicity is additionally achieved by using a matte black finish. On the ear cups you will find a zebra looking pattern that is a mix of glossy and matte black color. The only thing that gives a clear hint that this might be a gaming headset are the illuminated rings on the right and left side of the ear cup, but more on that a bit later. In terms of quality, I was pleasantly surprised how this gaming headset is built. The plastic is high quality and feels quite durable. The headset feels very sturdy, which is probably achieved by using a full metal headband which is visible on the side of the headset. The ear and headband cushions are very soft to the touch, but it's difficult at this moment to tell when and how much are they going to wear out over time. The microphone is not detachable, but it's nicely hidden in the left ear cup. The mechanism used to pull down the mic feels very solid and I highly doubt that it will break that easily with normal use. On the sides of the ear cups you will also find the turn dials for adjusting the headset volume and also the RGB patterns. Just like the rest of the headset, the dials feel solid and produce a nice clicking sound when you turn them. The cable is braided and with its 2 meter length it should be long enough for both using it on a PC or console. So from a build quality point of view I'm highly confident that the majority of you will be very happy with the quality that the VIP 002S will deliver. In terms of setup, the VIP 002S is practically plug and play. The cool part about this headset is that the 3.5mm headphone jack has both an audio input and output pass through which makes it ideal if you want to use it on a laptop or a smartphone that only has a single 3.5mm port. If you need to separate the sound and mic, EasySMX included this 3.5mm splitter. To get your RGB game going, all you have to do is connect the USB cable to your PC or console and the VIP W2S will start to show all of its RGB glory. The RGB rings on both sides of the headphones will start glowing, including the white microphone LED. Please note that the microphone LED has a fixed white color that can't be changed. An additional thing to bear in mind is that the USB cable on this gaming headset is purely used to power the RGB lights on this gaming headset and isn't used to transmit any form of sound. Operating the headset is also very simple. So the dial that you see on the left side is used to adjust the volume of the headset. 
Having a dedicated volume adjustment knob is something I highly appreciate because then you don't need to fiddle around with your keyboard shortcuts to adjust the sound or even minimize the game to increase or decrease uh, the volume. Below the dial you will also find the mic mute and unmute button. When you press it once the mic will mute which will also clearly be indicated by the white mic LED that turns off. When you press it again the LED will come on again in indicating that the mic is active. But the stupid part with the white microphone LED is that you actually can see it but still having a dedicated button to mute and unmute your microphone is a highly welcome feature. On the right ear cup you will find the RGB adjustment dial which functions and feels exactly the same as the volume dial. By turning it all the way right the RGB lights will start cycling and that's practically it in terms of RGB light presets. If you start turning the dial left you will be able to set fixed colors like for example red, blue, purple, green and etc. Okay, now comes the probably most interesting part and that's how do they sound? Well, in short, they sound quite okay. Not great, not terrible. No, but jokes aside, they sound really decent. In order to evaluate the sound quality, I use my Audio-Technica M50X headphones for comparison. I know that this isn't fair to compare a $35 headphone with $160 headphones but still I wanted to get a good feeling of how good they actually are in terms of sound. First of all this headset can get decently loud and on max volume there is minimal audio distortion. But in terms of the sound itself I personally had a feeling that the high tones were a bit too much emphasized and that the low tones and especially the mid tones were a bit understated. And that's something that I mainly noticed while listening to music and comparing them to my M50X headphones. While I was playing games that difference was way less noticeable. As you can hear the microphone itself sounds decent for this price. There's nothing amazing about it but also nothing disappointing here in terms of the microphone quality. As I mentioned a couple of times in this video, the Easy SMX VIP W2S retails for $35. $35 is a price point where you have a lot of choice in terms of headsets. But exactly because of the vast amount of choice that you have out there, there is a higher probability that you might end up buying a crappy gaming headset. What I can tell you is that the Easy SMX VIP W2S is definitely not a headset that you will regret buying for this price point. Okay, they don't have a mind-blowing sound in my opinion, but the build quality, look and feel and also RGB light capability balances that out and makes that a good purchase. So if you're planning to spend around $35 on a new gaming headset, I would highly recommend you to give these headphones a try from this gigantic pool of gaming headphones that are out there. If you do decide to pick them up, I left my Amazon affiliate links in the video description below and I would highly appreciate it if you use them because it will help both me and my channel to grow. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video and let me know in the comment section below if you came across another cool gaming headset for this price point. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video, so take care.